Hello everyone. So I was uh, working on my MPD configuration today and uh, I realized that uh, my MPD configuration hasn't really changed in the last, uh, I guess, 12, 13 ish years. So I think I first uh, learned about MPD. I think it was a music player dem demon. It, I think it was probably around uh, 2010, if I if I remember correctly, because around that time I basically worked on a shell script of my own that used to search for music and uh, also play it. So basically, you know, my own shell script with uh, some commands. So I basically work like created my own very simple terminal based player. Of course, the, not not the player itself, but the, the the way to search, find, and uh, play the music. And I also created my own uh, in my script uh, a way to basically play music in series, basically a playlist. But of course, someone then recommended me, "Have you tried MPD?" And of course, I tried it, and I loved it. And ever since, I have been using MPD. Now, what happened two weeks back? I had to reset my computer. I had to basically install Arch again. And uh, fortunately I have the backup. I had the backup. So I was able to recover everything. And uh, I have been, I have also uh, started, I think it was, I think earlier this year or maybe last year, I started uh, version controlling my dot files. I have always, you know, kept my dot files somewhere, but I started version controlling. I mean, if you search on Arch Linux forum, you will find a very simple, amazing example of how to version control your uh, dot files. So my dot files, and of course, you know, the MPD configuration file is basically in my version control. Now, what I wanted to sh show you today is my configuration. So what happened when I restored my Arch or when I reinstalled my Arch installation and when I reverted my files, everything worked straight away. And it is amazing. I mean, uh, if you have used computers for uh, more than 20 years, you I'm sure you know that uh, installing an operating system or resetting a computer or a laptop is not a problem. The, the main problem or the main challenge has always been to get back all the applications that you want to use, number one. Number two, you also want your configurations because uh, we use Linux and we are smart. We want to be efficient. We have, of course, you know, ways to revert back this configuration quickly. Now, talking about MPD, and of course this video is only about MPD, I just wanted to show you and talk about my configuration. And as I mentioned, I've not really modified anything. And hopefully you will realize uh, and things will make sense. So if you look at my, if you look at my MPD configuration, the very first thing is of course the music directory. Now this is definitely, uh, you know, a directory that you need to have where you will store your music. Now my my music files are stored in this directory called as my files music. Now the thing is, some of if I show you this uh, directory, let me just you know show you my files music. So basically, if you look here, of course I have uh, my playlist. There is a directory called playlist. I will talk about it. I also have my YouTube uh, music. You know the music which I play in the background. If I make a recording on video. And also my podcast, which I store here. I'm, th I'm of course not going to move it somewhere else. But majority of my, f my 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 MP3 files are actually in this directory or a sim link, which is basically linked to my uh, basically mounted drive, which is not really mounted right now because that is fine. Even if you don't really mount anything, uh, the sim link will still work. Of course, it for it won't really show you anything, but uh, it will still be. Uh, valid so it won't really break if you know what I mean so if I go back then of course the main the next important thing is nothing but the playlist directory which is again in the same music directory and the playlist directory is of course you know nothing but list of various uh, various text files with this format m3u and this is actually very important because uh, I basically use this uh, playlist file to manually, or not really manually, but we, we all know about this concept of syncing, right? Syncing your music files. So of course I 
have my mobile phone and uh, I, I of course want my mobile phone uh, to have my songs so what I do I have a script it is not even a script basically it is just a, like a loop that goes through all the files because the directory or, or the or the playlist is nothing but this uh, path so basically the script is basically basically going through these files one by one and it is copying it to my mobile phone uh, or basically a directory which i sync with my mobile phone using sync thing so this is something that i do not really regularly sometimes then of course i have this db file and by the way the only file which is uh, version control is basically this mpd.conf but uh, in my dot, 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 dot files configuration basically one of my mpd.conf is one of the dot file which i keep in my uh, repository and then db file i don't really care about it because i can always build it so i'm not really you know so config slash mpd and mpd.conf basically this file is version controlled not the database because you can always you know once you have let us say uh, your drive connected and maybe if you move to a different computer just press u in your or i think there is a command using mpc and uh, it will update the database then of course i have a log file which i don't care about then pid you don't really really need to uh, keep it in your version control similarly for state state file sticker file and uh, what else so basically it is very simple to be honest if you look at my mpd dot conf auto update yes and uh, follow outside sim links so this is something uh, i have to do because uh, i i have a sim link follow inside sim links yes and uh, i think these are a by default yes i, I don't even remember uh, if uh, you if these are like default configurations and what else and the last thing i believe is my output so of course my my, my audio output which is uh, httpd which i don't really use anymore i mean i can basically whenever i am running my mpd i can use the ip address of my laptop or, or wherever it is running and uh, play my music using my mobile phone for example and uh, I hope I'm still recording because I touched the mic. But anyways, then of course I have uh, this. Uh, uh, I, I think this bind to address you can keep it as uh, 000, so it will take the IP address of your uh, uh, of your laptop or, or the machine. I think 000 will do that. And port is 8000, bitrate 128, and th these are of course you know for uh, uh, you know the HTTPD if you want to play your music. Uh, on the browser i also have uh, i believe they should be similar for uh, elsa mixer i believe pulse yeah so pulse elsa and uh, also the fifo you know the spectrometer i that use that you get when you are playing music in uh, let me show you so if you go, if you open nc nc mpp i believe if you play music something like this i think this is something that you uh because you can also i believe uh, change the format or color using this mpd.fifo this particular i think this is the one and if i go to i think yeah, i have to press let me just play something and try to okay this one here so i think i can always do my so right now it is uh, enabled i can disable it and if i go to visualizer nothing is uh, playing so I can, uh, nothing is like visualized. So let me just enable it. And let me just go back to this. Uh, I think this looks good, right? Especially if you are uh, listening to music. So yeah, this is my configuration and it is very simple. Nothing too complicated. And uh, extremely simple, easy to follow. And I thought I'll probably show you. I think I've shown you my configurations before, but that was like long time back. And uh, because I mean, if you keep this configuration somewhere safe, you don't have to version control it, but, but I think it makes sense if you version control it. But uh, the thing is that if you move to a different laptop or a computer, you can just forget about it. And uh, whenever I have to make a change in my dot file, or whenever there is a change, I know there is a change. I And that, that, of course, you know, won't happen regularly. But whenever there is a change, I 
make sure that I, that I commit it and I push to my repository. All right, that is it. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.